this is Lisa from Happy Stamp, and today we are going to be making this cute box. It, I should have measured it beforehand, it measures four and a half by four and a quarter, and it is one and a quarter inches deep. So that's how big the box is. All right, so you just untie this. And then it just opens up like this. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna bring in my scoreboard. You're going to need a piece of real red, and this measures 12 by 7. And you're going to score it on the 12 inch side at 1, 2 and a fourth. Six and a half and seven and three quarters. Then you're going to turn it on the seven inch side and you're going to um, score at one and a fourth on both sides. All right, so it's going to look like this. I did this box a couple of weeks ago, so I have to remember what I did. <laughs> um, so you're going to go ahead and burnish on all of our score lines. While I'm doing this, don't forget that our extra, extra promotion is still going on until the end of August. You get $155 worth of product when you join Stampin' Up! for $99 and you get free shipping. And then next month you'll get a coupon for $10 off of any order. Alright, so this is how it's going to work. Alright. So, we need to take our scissors, and with the, sh this is the, um, I think it's, what is it, is it one inch, yes, with the one inch at the top, so this is the wider at the bottom, you're going to take these right here, and you're just going to cut up on either side. And you're going to cut up on this side right here. And turn it around and cut up on this side. Then you're going to remove these two right here. So these rectangles come off. Then these right here, all you're going to do is you're just going to cut at an angle. So we want to make, I want to make sure I'm cutting my angle correctly, which I was going, no I wasn't, I was going to do it right. So we're going from the outside edge up to the, to the top. Just like that. So it looks like this. Okay. All right, then we're going to take our tear and tape. And we're 
We're going to put adhesive right here. On both of these. And then we're going to put adhesive right here. Now, hopefully, wait a minute, let me make sure I did this right. So these are going to go up like this, and these are going to go like here. And I want to make sure, yes. So the adhesive will go here. Like I said, I did this a while ago, and I have to remember what I did. All right. So we're going to take all of this off. You could also cut these tabs off too if you want to. These don't have to stay on, but that's entirely up to you. So we'll take these and this will go up like this, right to the edge on both sides. Make sure you get them lined up correctly. So just like that, and then we can take these off, and this is going to go on here. Make sure you get it lined up right to the edge, and then the same thing on this side. Stay in the other room, please. Hurry up. Okay, so just like that. And then this is going to fold in, and then this is going to fold down. Now, I could have put my paper on beforehand. I probably should have, but that's all right. So, I'm using the paper stacks. I'm using the real red. This one measures four and a quarter by four. It's gonna go right here. So I'll take some glue. That way I can wiggle it around. right on here all right and then the smaller one which is this one this is three quarters by four and a fourth that's going to go on this little front flap right here And then this one is one inch by four and a fourth. And that one's going to go right on here. All right. So that's going to go in, and then that's going to around just like this cute now you could if you didn't want to do the ribbon you could put a magnet or a velcro piece right there if you wanted to to keep it closed all right so I have two scraps of I have a scrap of whisper white and I have a scrap of real red I'm going to be using the uh, rectangle stitched rectangle 
uh, framelits, and I'm going to use the black, the red, the bigger one, which I have number four. I start from the largest and I go down. So this is my number four, and I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to cut this one out, but first of all, I'm going to use the Ride With Me set, and I'm going to use the truck. Oops. And I'm going to use the tree. I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black. And I'm going to stamp this on my scrap. I'm going to uh, stamp it over here so that I can get my greening on this also, uh, I hope. Okay. So there's my truck. Then I'm going to take my little tree image that's coming out of the back of the truck. And hopefully I'm not getting my head in the camera. And I'm going to um, stamp that in the back of the truck. I'm going to use this again in a minute. Okay. Now for the blends. For the truck, I use the light and dark real red. For the tree, I use the light and dark old olive. For the wheels, I use the dark basic black. For the chrome on the wheel hubs and on the front, I use the dark smoky slate. I for the grounding, for the grounding, I use the light crumb cake. And for the sky, I use the light pool party. So I'm not going to show you this whole thing because it would take forever. But I just I just colored basically and then I did a little bit of shading like I colored my whole truck red and then I took my dark real red and I did around here and I did right here just to give it a little bit of something um, my tree I used my light old olive and I just colored the whole tree and then I took my dark old olive and anywhere there was this these little marks I just went over it and then just to kind of blend it in I went over it again with my light old olive okay um, for the sky I just took my light pool party and just did kind of a wispy all around the tree and in this window here and then I did the same thing pretty much for the ground just to ground it so it doesn't look like it's floating and then this is what it looks like when it's done <clears throat> just like that all right then I took my white piece of um, my white and I just used the number five stitched rectangle and I cut that out um, like I said and then I used the number four for the red so I'm gonna run that through real quick before I run that through I'm going to um, do my sentiment then I can run through at the same time so I used this Wishing You Loads of Christmas Cheer, and all I did was I took a piece of post-it tape, and I covered up the top because I didn't want, I only want the Christmas cheer. So I just covered that up with some post-it tape because I just want the Christmas cheer. And then I'm going to take my memento. And I'm going to ink that up real well. 
Remember to take this off. And then I'm gonna bring in a scrap and I'm just going to stamp that. And then I'm gonna take the, this one right here, which is my D. I did one through eight and then A through D and then this one's, I didn't do anything with that one. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut this out. with this. That was a perfect fit for this Christmas cheer. All right. Now I'll put my cutting plate on top and cut both of these out. of real red and I have my piece of whisper white and I don't want to stick my nail through it so I'm just going to kind of work it out here there we go those are done so I'm going to take my piece of whisper white here and I'm just going to use my snail to put this together. Try to get this an even border on all four sides. All right. Then I'm going to take some I have some dimensionals here. Where are my scissors? That I'm just going to cut apart because I don't want to waste them. And I'm going to put one in each corner. I don't want to put any in the middle here because that's where the ribbon is going to go. Okay. And then I can take this, get my backings off. And this is going to go down here more because remember we have a flap up here. So let's just put that right here. Okay. Then I have 22 inches of the white flax ribbon. And this is going to go up through here just like that. It's going to go around the back. Now let's see if I can tie this correctly here. Because you know it's always harder to do when you're on camera. So here is our knot one loop right not too shabby okay Cut a little bit off of this one. And I think that one's okay. All right. 
Then I'm going to take the Christmas cheer and I'm going to use two of the smaller dimensionals. And I'm going to put one on each end. And all of this stuff is in the annual catalog. None of this is in the um, new holiday catalog. This is all in the annual catalog. All right, there's that. And then I'm going to take <clears throat> two of our red basic rhinestones. And these are all just one size. And I'm going to take two of those and put one on each end of the greeting. Just like that. So there it is. I think it's really cute. I love the gingham. Very good for Christmas, I think. So here is this one and here's the other one. Let's see if I can retie this bow. Okay. go okay if you have any questions please let me know and I would be happy to answer them all supplies can be ordered through my online store at www.happystamp.stampinup.net thanks for watching have a great day bye